Hello folks, Mark here. Welcome back to the channel. It's all about racing. Good to have you. In the background here, you're looking at a Mustang sampling Cadillac, the DPI from 2020, from 2022. This is one that raced at Michelin Road, Atlanta back in September and October of 2022. And the reason I have this out is because I've got another prototype uh, to show you. This one actually being an LMP2. Uh, that of the year 2005, the winner of the LMP2 class, as a matter of fact, from Ray Matlock Limited. This is an MG Lola EX264. This is an older Spark model. It's a 143 scale mounted on this black wooden base and typical of the era around 2005, the way Spark did the packaging. You have this silver reflective, uh, I guess, outer casing, you could call it. It is very flimsy on the sides. Uh, and this being an older one, you can see it's been damaged here. And I have to—I usually have to tape these up when I buy them, because a lot of times they're used, uh, and they're very, very easy damage, particularly when they're you know almost 15 years old. Now the box is clear on both ends, so you can clearly see the front and the rear of the car. And that is an acrylic jewel box that it's encased in. Now, to provide some historical context to this, the EX264 was developed by MG. You might remember them of England. They made the little MG midgets back in the 70s and 80s, the Triumphs. God, I love those cars. Uh, RML and engine specialist Judd. And this was developed as a sports prototype for the ACO LMP2 class at Le Mans. This car was built specifically to compete at Le Mans, and it did, and it won. The chassis is all carbon fiber monocoque, as well as the shell, the underbody, and the rear wing. The engine was designed, again, as I said, by Judd, and as a naturally aspirated MG 3.4 liter V8 power plant. Produces approximately 540 horsepower with a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The gearbox is a Lola 6-speed sequential with semi-automatic paddle shifters. I've taken a close look at this car. It's, it's absolutely beautiful and sweeping in its design. It's got a white shell with red and white accents, and when you take a look at the a top view of it, you'll get a better look of how it kind of flows, but it's really, really very unique as you kind of scan around here and you take a look at this. And look at that low sweeping front nose, and to put it into perspective again, take a real close look at that from the side, and just look how narrow it is. I mean, it's just absolutely... You know, the, the wheel arches naturally, you know, have to bulge up because they've got to cover the wheels on the car, but, uh, but it's just amazing how narrow that nose is, and imagine the airflow that, you know, starts here and just you know, it goes up over here, channels through the back, under the rear wing. Just absolutely amazing. See the headlights, see the British flag on there. You have the tow hook right there. You've also got an aerial right here in between these two nacelles. I'm not exactly sure what they're for. I don't think there's much of anything up front uh, except perhaps the, uh, uh, the radiators for the car. Now, one nice thing about Sparks, they do have the names of the drivers on the sides of the cars. In this case, you have two gentlemen driver, Mike Newton of England, uh, as the founder and CEO of the AD Group. You've also got Warren Hughes as well, also from England, and Thomas Idros from Brazil, the professional driver. Here's a cool look at the back of the car. Really neatly done. Look at the rear wing, supported by two massive struts and has these long side panels on it that drop almost down to the frame of the car. You can just imagine the airflow coming around here. You've got the exhausts for the engine nacelles right there. Kind of reminiscent of today's uh, prototypes, particularly the DPIs. And here's a look down. And you can see how the livery plays out. The blue over the wheel arches. The red accents, I just, it's really, really cleverly done. The blue down the center again with red accents as well. And there's a cool look into the interior of the car. You can see both sides, both the driver's nacelle and what you might call the passenger side on the other side where they just looks like they have some, there's probably some instruments there for engineers to get to if they need to, as well as other boxes. Very, very well done by Spark. Well, folks, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.